Hello, good morning, good morning, hello. Oh, not zero. One. There we go. Hopefully you can still hear that okay. Good morning, hello. It seems like for ages since I streamed, even though I streamed on Friday, it's been a long weekend. Um, we had birthday parties and a big shop to do and it was just, yeah, everybody's super tired. I'm actually quite tired now. I was alright when I woke up. I didn't sleep very well last night at all. It took me ages to get to sleep and then I kept waking up. Um, I ended up putting on Rhett and Link, one of Rhett and Link's Ear Biscuit podcast things to try and help me sleep and it did help. Um, so yeah, and then got up as usual at like six in the morning. So I'm actually feeling a little bit tired today, but we'll do a, a we'll do a stream, do a bit of a stream. Cause it seems like I haven't streamed for ages. Get over to you here, so you can see my hand. Oh, I need a picture of what we're gonna make today. Although you can tell by the title. Um, in my jars, let's get a little picture. Um, let's have this one. Save and thank you, editor. Current project properties. Where is this picture that I'm looking for? Am I blind? Yes, I am. Bye, Thank you for the house, my love. Oh, goodness, that's a giant picture. It's also locked. Unlock it. How you doing, my love? Thank you for the house. Good morning, good morning. There you go, donut worry. Be happy. We're making donuts, as you can see. You can see them in the top corner. Here, yeah, look. So I found this pattern. I've made a bigger donut before um, and turned it into a key ring. But I found this pattern for mini donuts. Oh my God, are they cute. How are you doing, Lilac? Good morning, my love. So I made this one, which is using a 3.5 hook because the pattern called for a 3.75 and I don't have those. So I made a 3.5, but it's like super tiny. So then I switched to a four. And I mean, these are still tiny, but they're so cute. So some have sprinkles, like this one. And this one has sprinkles. And then these ones, oh, this one has sprinkles too. And that one's made with sparkly, it's a sparkly donut. What do they taste like? probably not very delicious I'm not gonna lie but because these are so small um, I've ordered some key rings they're coming soon so I can turn some into key rings but I've also ordered some magnets so we're gonna make donut magnets and you guys will be able to purchase them if you would like but they're gonna go up in the in my Etsy shop when I get around to actually sorting that out I'm waiting for the things to come I, I haven't even actually ordered any hair clips yet to make the bows so right now there's not really anything to go in there so but yes they're gonna go in there and they just so happened to fit really nicely in this little box that I've got. I was like, oh, I can sell like a set of eight, have like a little set of eight magnets. It's so cute. So we're gonna make some more because I like to have a stock of stuff. How are you doing Milky Adventures? Good morning, very fibrous. Oh yeah, your doctor tells you you need some fiber. Eat my donuts. Don't eat my donuts, that would be gross. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, and the, her donuts, I'm pretty sure, are a little bit. Are they as small as mine? Yeah, I think they are. I thought they were a tiny bit bigger, but actually, looking at her picture, they look smaller. She's she's done some really cool ones. I nearly got the keychains like hers, so hers are on the little keychains that are like the little balls. Um, I have one somewhere with like the little, I know what I mean, like by the claspy thing. Um, I don't know what you call them. I nearly got some of those instead, but I picked up the ones. So I have just the keychains, just the circle bits, but I picked up the ones with the chain attached and then I'm gonna get some pliers so that I can attach them because I like those. Um, with the other ones, I have to like attach them with like a 
a wrap of yarn or um, I'll single crochet like a thing like this and tie it on but they always seem to stretch the ones like well the ones in my daughter's book bag get wrecked every day because you know they're on a kid's book bag but and and they're fine they haven't come off or anything um, they just seem to have stretched and pulled a bit so I want to try the other ones but yes we ordered those ordered some magnets not ordered any hair clips yet I haven't found any that I particularly like or that are at the right price for me. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14. These are super easy because what you'll do is you make the base like in this colour and then you unattach it and you attach the colour to the top of this, so like the other side of this. Um, so what I've been doing is like with these ones, after making a couple, I was feeling, I, I kind of memorised the pattern and um, what I did was I just made like three or four bases and then did all the tops and then did all the sewing kind of thing. So, yes, we might do that today. I might make a couple of, of bottoms first. However, we do need a stitch marker. One. Also, all my desk area has changed. So I managed to get actually a desk um, on Friday. It was my stepdaughter's old desk. So we put that in move my shelves around that are in here why did i get a... and uh yeah so i actually have a desk area now for my my own pc not this one and um all my crochet stuff so hopefully soon if we can get a few upgrades for the pc i'll be able to stream from that one stream like this from that one um because at the moment i don't know how that how it would go I've streamed Team Hospital from that. Um, but yeah. What we might mm, what we might do tomorrow, what I'm hoping to do this week, is do some of the half and half streams again. Where I will crochet for an hour and then we'll play a game for an hour because I have so many games from Keymailer that I want to try that um But I also want to do lots of crochet, so I'm like a bit stuck. So what I think we'll do is we'll do half and half streams again. We did that a little while ago. I streamed for like an hour and then played the Billions for an hour. So, and that worked pretty well. So I think we'll do that because I got a key for Shopkeep 2 from Keymailer. Um, which is like, I don't, I've never heard of Shopkeep 1. I don't know if any of you guys have, but I'd not heard of Shopkeep 1. But basically it's like, rather than you're being, you're the adventurer going off and doing all the adventures, you are like the, the shop NPC where the adventurers come and buy their weapons and armor and you know like their water or their food or whatever and uh, just look just look different it's a different concept of a like you know a different story behind the game I thought it was quite interesting like I said I've never played the first one I hadn't heard of it till I saw it and then um, yeah so we've got that to play although I got an email thing saying that uh, it was meant to come out on the 26th in pre-release, but they're pushing it back till the 3rd of May. But they did say in the email that the embargo is still lifted. You can still stream it and whatever. So just make sure you let people know about the new date. So yeah, I'm excited for that one. And I got a few others from Keymailer that um, we need to play as well. Well, I want to play. So yeah, maybe we'll do some. I'd do it today, but I haven't got it installed. Um, yeah, I think we'll definitely do that. One, two, one, two. So this is a super easy pattern. So all you do is you single crochet 12, you, well, you chain 12, single crochet all the way around, so you've got 12. Um, you increase single crochet two all the way around, and you do two rows of 16, single crochets it's super super easy um, I'll drop the pattern into the chat if anybody wants it One, two. Two. Do, 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 do. there we go there's the pattern if anybody is interested But I'm just super excited to get the magnets. I've never done 
like anything magnety before and i have a lot of magnets because um whenever we go anywhere or like the kids go anywhere we always bring a magnet back even when my mum goes somewhere <laughs> she always brings me a magnet back um and i love magnets so it'd be really cool to have some that i've made and i've got loads of ideas for all different ones that we can make so i'm very excited i'm definitely making an avocado magnet i've seen a, a pattern for an avocado key ring which is something that's definitely happening very soon as soon as the key rings come although my stepdaughter again made a list we found a really cool website with quite a few different patterns on that she loved which i actually made one from um the unicorn that i was making the ragdoll unicorn is from uh, is made by the patterns by spinner yarn crochet and uh, i think it's spinner yarn crochet or is it just spinner yarn spinner yarn crochet and she has loads of other different ragdoll ones like harry potter ones and whales and all sorts crabs and everything they're really really cool um and she also has some little key rings ones she has a quite a few different christmas ones and this um avocado one my stepdaughter was looking through it going i would like one of those i would like one of those and i would like one of those i was like oh my god yeah you've got to pick one because <laughs> i already have a list i found a list in the back of an old notebook of all these things that she has for like all the different Pokemon she wants and stuff. I'm like, oh my god. I forget about it and then I make random things like donuts. Um, although the, I was making the unicorn for um, a little girl that's having a birthday soon. But I've decided to give her something else because I'm not sure if I'm going to get it finished. No worries, Lilac. I hope the music isn't too quiet. I turn it down because I'm sick of it being too loud. That's it. That's one half of a donut. That is it. <laughs> it's I, um my my stepdaughter was saying she was fascinated watching me put these together because she's like it just looks like a weird tube and then boom 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 it's a donut. I'm like hell yeah, it's really cool. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. I have an entire basket of hair bows. See, this is the problem, is that I went a bit crazy making them and then ran out of hair clips. However, I still made them. So if I buy a pack of like 50 hair clips, I've probably made, let me show you, I've probably made enough hair bows to use all of them. This is what happens when my mind doesn't want to stop working, I'll show you. It's just... hair bows. <laughs> so if I got like a pack of 50 hair clips, hair clips, hair clips, it's probably gonna be pretty much just on that batch, but that's okay. At least I know I don't need to make hair bows for a while. Although I've seen the kids iron them up already yet again. Of course. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, come here, you go. Twelve. There we go. Do, do, do. And then we do an increase. Whoop. 
one, two, I baited me a cat. These are just as delicious, I promise. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe don't eat these donuts. <laughs> That's why I put hashtag crochet. I thought if I didn't put that, I just put making donuts. People are gonna be so disappointed with that I'm not actually making real donuts. <laughs> How are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. trying to eat better. I'm not allowed to eat real donuts so I'm just going to crochet thousands of them. <laughs> Maybe not thousands. -da -da. Oh the sun! It's making all my camera go crazy. Apologies. I don't use any other lighting apart from um, the sunshine through my window. So makes things go crazy. Not too bad. Wish I wasn't at work though. How is your good self? I am fantastic, thank you. I'm glad you're not doing too bad. I hope work's going okay. Oof. It is Monday morning, so it's a meh Monday. <laughs> it's so cold. I was getting used to the, the nice weather we were having, but it's freezing today. And I went to the shop and um, I... We have no sugar for tea. I was really disappointed. Hexadoodle! Hello, lovely. Thank you for the host. Um, I have no sugar for tea, but I'm, like I say, I'm trying to cut down on sugar and stuff, so I didn't buy any. I'm going to have to have a sweetener. Oh. We had this really nice sweetener that just tasted like sugar, and then I bought the same one again, and for whatever reason, this batch has that weird artificial, like, artificial sweetener taste. Ugh. It's not very nice. I don't know why the first one was so nice, but makes me sad. So I'm gonna quench my well, quench is drinking, isn't it? Not quench my thirst. Hmm, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. But I'm going to stop myself eating sugar by making things that are sugary. Because I was thinking maybe some, I could do some biscuit magnets like custard creams and bourbons. They'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Sweetness suck. They do. They do. I've got some, so I've got the like the little tablet ones. They were the ones, like I say, I bought two of the same packs, the same brand and everything. The first ones that we tried were brilliant. Tasted just like sugar. I was like, this is amazing. So we bought them again and they're awful. They have that awful sweetened taste. And then I also have powdered sweetener, but um, I've never used it. Kind of just freaks me out a little bit. So I'm like, mm -mm. Stay away from you. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 1, 2, 6, 7. I think I'm going to have, I don't have any salad in which is making me a bit sad. I love salad but um, we've only got cucumber. So I think I'm going to have just a jacket potato with probably some beans for my lunch. Or I might go a bit crazy. I've got some mushrooms so I might do chicken mushrooms and couscous. I might do 
do chicken mushrooms and crush crust. I might do, ooh, I might do chicken wrapped in bacon and I've got soft cheese so I can put that in the middle. Might have a bit of a crazy lunch. There's only me here today, so I just go out and have a, go all out and have a bit of a gourmet dinner by myself. <laughs> Because I know when the when the kids and my boyfriend gets home, he's gonna have had pasta at work, so he's gonna want. So he doesn't like couscous. He was not gonna want like pasta or rice or anything. My little girl's probably gonna say, "I just want a sandwich or mixy eggs, which is scrambled eggs on toast." It's her favourite. So salad or <laughs> salad? Don't you like it? Oh, I love salad. I had the other day. Oh, it was so nice. I just have lettuce, cucumber, tomato spring onions and then a little bit of sweet chilli sauce and a little bit of mayo oh, it's so nice. sometimes a chopped up egg or some chicken or something oh delicious couscous just disgusting do you not like couscous either you won't like what my daughter my stepdaughter has them even i think it's weird so what she has what she'll like me to do is i'll make her plain couscous and then she stirs in half a tin of tuna. Just just plain, half a tin of plain tuna. No mayo, no anything else. Just half a tin of dry plain tuna. And she absolutely loves it. It's one of her favorite meals. I'm like, what? <laughs> what, wait. <laughs> I can't stand couscous, it's just the texture. Ah, that's fair enough. It does have a bit of a weird, a weird texture going on. Is that the stuff my wife feeds the rabbits with? Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. By the textures. There's only one thing I, I like most food. There's a lot of food now that I really like that I used to hate when I was a kid, like peppers and spring onions. I would never eat them as a kid. Now I love them. But there's like certain things I, well, there's like, probably one thing that I won't eat because of the texture and that's a banana which is sad because I love bananas like I love banana flavored stuff I love banana ice cream banana milkshakes but that might be because it's more of like the artificial flavor if it's in if a banana's in a smoothie like strawberry and banana smoothies we make those sometimes um I absolutely love them banana and peanut butter smoothies oh. I love them, but I cannot eat a banana. I tried like a couple of years ago and I still can't eat one. <laughs> Just the texture of it is so gross. And when I was younger, I used to have banana sandwiches. Like a bit of peanut butter, a sliced banana. Oh, it's so good. But now I just can't. One, two, one, two, one, two. Now I just can't eat them. Couscous is the savory version of semolina. I've never had semolina. I've never ever had semolina. I remember my mum talking about having it as like we used to have like semolina pudding at school when she went to school but um one two right something has gone wrong something's gone awry what's gone wrong what's up what's up duck one And I bought rice pudding. I love rice pudding. With some jam in it. Mm -hmm. One, two. One. That's so weird. How come that's worked this time? Who knows? It looks like frog spawn. Ew. <laughs> Ew. That sounds gross. I can't say my mum ever spoke highly of Semolina. Um, I want to. I'm gonna try and say your name. Aramum, Aramum, 
Arame Maria? I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I know I butchered your name. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. I'm sorry for butchering your name. Maria, I'm sorry. I was gonna call you Maria, but I like I don't like calling people stuff they don't want to be called. How are you today? Thank you for coming and saying hello. How are you doing? And thank you, well, what I meant to say was thank you for telling me how to say your name. <laughs> Sorry I have to run a bit of biscuits and work and I'll be collecting doll. Oh no. Thank you very much. Beard and Maker, have a lovely day. Have a great day at work. Hopefully it's, hopefully it's a good day. Don't get in trouble at work. <laughs> get your work done. Good, I'm glad you're doing good. Boop. Two, three, in the row. We're making donuts today. And hopefully tomorrow, um, the thing is the postman doesn't come till later on in the day, he doesn't come first thing in the morning, um, so otherwise we could have put the magnets on them tomorrow, because they're meant to be here either tomorrow or Wednesday, but I don't tend to stream on a Wednesday and I don't think they'll be here in time for the stream tomorrow, which is a shame. Does that light up hook work well? Yeah, I love it. I don't actually... <laughs> See, I got the light up hooks, but I don't actually generally use them as light up hooks. I don't tend to actually light them up. Um, I use them a lot because they're really, really nice with the yarn. They're really smooth. The yarn doesn't catch on them, like on any bits of the plastic or anything. It glides really well through the yarn. And I really love the size of the handle. Um, I have a couple of other, I have another set of like thicker handles, not as thick as this. Um, and they're really good. And I have a set of my original ones, which are like just the thin metal ones. And I need to get some, um, I'm gonna get some polymer clay, like some Fimo clay and make some handles for them because I can't use them, they're so thin. My poor hands won't use them. But these, these are brilliant. I love these. I use these for most of, pretty much all of the things that I make now, even if I don't use the light up feature. Sometimes I do find that the lighting up bit is a bit too bright, like it's hard to look at. But this one has been used a little bit, um, so the light's dimmed a little bit um, because obviously the battery's just running out, running now. Maybe if it had like a an on off but with like a bit of a dimmer switch, but I don't know if you could fit that in a crochet hook. <laughs> That's wishful thinking. I just want the world. But yeah, no, I love them. I love them. Something you're interested in doing too. Awesome. I'm not going to be doing anything fancy. I'm not, I've never used things like clay apart from like, I made a hedgehog once at school. But um, yeah, I, I like, I've seen loads of really gorgeous hooks and I want to just try and make my own. Just for me, not for any other reason, just for me. And, um, and then I can also use them because at the moment they're kind of sat there and I can't use them because they're just not, my hands just can't handle them it just hurts too fast so yeah hopefully you'll do that soon hopefully but these ones were just a set these light up hooks were just a set of eight i think off amazon or ebay it was like 10 pounds uk money i think for the set which is crazy crazy good price So true about the regular hooks, yeah. I just can't hold them. And I hate having them there, like, you know, I'd rather be able to use them than just having them sat there in a in my hook holder thing. My hook map. If we can make something pretty out of them, then why not? I've seen some, like I say, I've seen some amazing ones. I saw a llama one the other day. I've seen Harry Potter ones and all sorts. I'm not gonna be able to make anything like that, but I can even just do like some kind of two-toned pattern, wiggly pattern or something, just like a marble effect. It'd look pretty cool. Pretty cool. I think. 
<laughs> so I'm just sewing in the end um, and then we'll attach the main donut icing kind of side colour. So currently this is facing the right way. So this this is the, the front, the outside. It's going to be on the outside of the donut. Um, because once I've made the top, we'll turn it inside out to sew it together. And because these are so tiny, it's really cool. The woman in the pattern um, actually said to use chunky yarn to stuff them because they are so small. And I have some chunky yarn that I have no other use for. I've had it for ages. So it's actually worked out really well. I've been using this. Which is, it's not super chunky, but it's, it, it works. It does the job well. Because the other one, I made my daughter a larger one, and even that was a bit of a pain. It's like three times the size of this. It's like that big. Twice the size. And uh, even that was a pain to stuff with stuffing. So, yeah. I thought that was quite a good idea. Quite a good idea. Right, let's get some mint going. I don't have a mint one yet. Oh, my camera's froze. Hang on, hang on. Is it back? Nope. Do, 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 do. Uh, properties. There we are. Now it's back. Hang on, let me just do the. I don't know why it decided to. Oh, now my arm's really pink. <laughs> should be better um yeah it is micro how many donuts am i making i was just making and i'm not sure because they really don't take long um so we've made the bases for three so maybe three but these are the ones that i made yesterday when i was trying out the pattern in my own time this one was made with a 3.5 mil hook because the pattern calls for an f which when i looked it up in millimeters that's a 3.75 and i don't have one of those so this is made using a 3.5 but it was almost like it's really tiny so i went with a four for the rest of them um but yeah so we've got some ones with sprinkles got some sparkly ones and these are going to be turned into donut magnets which i'm really excited for um yeah we'll make these three and then just see what time it is probably not going to stream for ages today thank you yeah i thought the pattern was super super cute um and it's really easy to do, 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 do. It's always a bonus when the pattern's free. <laughs> Just attach this to what was the base. This was the starting chain that we did, but it's now gonna be the top it's gonna be the middle and we want to do 12 one two three and we're doing exactly the same basically on the top that we did on the bottom the um increase single crochet two all the way around and then two rows of just single crochet one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, Ooh. squeaky, ten. Hello, Lady Clays. How are you doing? It would look super cute with beads. I don't know if I have. I never said bees. Then <laughs> it would look super cute with bees. Yeah, with beads it would. Um, I just don't know if I have any small enough. I'd want to use tiny ones, I think. 11. Oh goodness, that's not where I wanted it to go. It doesn't matter too much. Like I find that sometimes it can make like quite big holes here, but that's going to be inside the donut, like in there, so no one's going to see it anyway. Because we're not using stuffing, we're using yarn to stuff it. It works out fine. Right, let's just 
count how many. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, the way, yarn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Awesome. Did I? I think I counted that one. God. Can't sleep, it's 2 a.m. there. Oh no, that's what I was like last night. I really struggled to get to sleep last night. Well, hopefully, you get to sleep soon. Hmm. Hang on, let me see about these. I've got some boots over here, but then my door's. Oh, yeah. Yes. So I can't remember what I was making, but something that I was making had tiny beads and I was just thinking maybe my daughter has them. See, she has this little pot with beads to make her, she makes bracelets with these bigger ones. But I forgot, somewhere we've got these tiny beads. Ooh. We could definitely do something with those. I'd want to sew them on as well and not, not glue them on. They're so tiny, I think it'd be too messy to to glue them on. So we're just carrying on the same thing on the top. So we've increased single crochet two, increase. Yeah, I thought I had some somewhere. I can't remember where I got them from. Um, I thought she'd borrowed them to put in this little thing. She. <laughs> She makes the bracelets with these ones, but at the moment, because they're all in here, hence why they had a spoon, they've been in the kitchen, her little play kitchen, because um, she's been using them as horse food for her pretend horses. Yeah, I'm gonna get a needle and thread. I was gonna, it's not worth trying to glue them on, I don't think. I'd rather sew them. Two. Increase. And I think the pink ones and the grey ones, and, well, all of them really would work really quite well on this minty colour. What a good idea, thank you so much. Right. Got a single crochet all the way around. Now when you do the other, these like yarn sprinkles, um, I sew them on while this is not sewn together yet if that makes sense like when it's still like this as a flat piece um but with the beads i think i'll make um i'll make the full donut first and then sew them on it's gonna be tricky to do it the other way i think because those ones you do it when it's inside out and yeah and just check on these what's this Lilac, my love, thank you for the tweet. Thank you very much. Um, I need to talk to Lilac actually because I have some felt kits for like making these felt characters. My daughter made one that was a horse. I have an octopus and a llama. And I was going to do them on stream one day, but I'm not sure whether she wants to do a a felty jewel stream where she does her needle felting and I do that. I need to ask her. Thank you for the follow, Lady Clays. As usual, please let me know if the music is too loud, too quiet, anything like that. My microphone's a bit further away than usual. And I turn my music down to one because it always seems like it's really, really loud. Although this is where people go, what music? <laughs> they can't hear it at all. Because I moved my microphone, I figured I'd better turn it down. Audio is fine. Awesome, thank you, Noxil. How are you? Good morning. How are you doing? Thank you, Doc Bond. Is that how I say that? I'm so sorry. I butcher names. That should be my name. That should be in my bio. Samphoria. Hi, my name is Sam. I like to crochet, drink tea, 
and butcher people's names. Thank you, thank you guys, thank you for letting me know. I like it when people just never feel like you can't shout at me if something is wrong. Normally Lilac tells me. <laughs> Sam, your hands aren't in the camera. <laughs> That's normally what it is. Doing good, good, excellente. That's what I like to hear. That was right, awesome. Thank goodness. <laughs> awesome. How's your morning? My morning is fantastic, thank you. Can't eat donuts? We'll make them instead. <laughs> How are you doing, Doc Bond? I hope you're doing good. Right, sew these ends in. I'll have to go find a needle and thread. There's some over there. There's the sewing machine. There we go. Snoop. I need a new yarn scrap jar or I need to use the scraps that I've got. One of my, well, a pom-pom that I made ages ago fell apart. So now my little mason jar full of yarn scraps is pretty much completely full. So I either need a new jar or I need to find a reason to use them. Although I used some in one of these the other day. It's just a lot easier doing it. Like pretty good. Just watching Twitch, waiting for more calls at work. Oh, awesome. I hope work's going well. It is Monday after all. Alternative filling. Yeah, I love using it. I'll show you my jar. It's, it's getting pretty cream. <laughs> I have already emptied this jar once this year because I made, um, what did I make? I think I made my daughter a unicorn and I used all the scraps in my scrap jar um, to fill it basically. But as I say, a pom-pom exploded. <laughs> so all the scraps ended up in here. I just love how it looks. I think it just looks really cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's overflowing. <laughs> there's all of the there's all the pom pom <laughs> rainbow innards for the unicorn literally yep <laughs> oh yeah I had them in little bags but they just filled up too quick <laughs> so I was like oh, okay I'll take it in a jar and I liked how it looked in the jar to be fair yeah i need i need like a a different kind of tub or make sure that i use them up and not just keep them because they look pretty oh my goodness that emote is so cute i love that emote yeah we made a unicorn i think i've made a couple hang on see if i can find it here he is on this one Oh, so this one still needs a mane and a tail. This is what I was making over the weekend. This is a ragdoll unicorn. He still needs a mane and a tail, but he's pretty cute. He's quite big. Oop. And then this is the one with the rainbow inside. This unicorn. With his crazy hair. This has been well loved. <laughs> this has spent many a night in my daughter's bed getting absolutely cuddled to death. So he's a bit, he's a bit worse for wear, this poor guy. <laughs> and then I started making um, kind of like unicorn kind of bows. Like the kids like them with all the, uh, they're all, it's with sparkly yarn. You can't really tell. I'm trying to cover it a bit with my hands. So you can kind of see. Like these ones are a bit mermaidy. These ones. Yeah, it's purple. Purple and pink, her favorite colors. Yeah. And then we have all sorts, what's that? Well, there's a mermaid somewhere. Um, a tiny doll that was turned into Papa Smurf. Um, a lot of Pokemon that also have added eyebrows. We tend to add things to the base pattern. So a lot of things will end up with eyebrows or we made a Mew that has a bow tie and a top hat. And sits over his ears, very funny. Your kids are very lucky to have you crafting all these things for them. Yeah, they 
They take advantage, trust me. <laughs> Especially it's hard when I make something for someone else because they look at it and they're like, Mummy, I really liked that. <laughs> I'm like, fine. I had to make a list of things that they would like me to make. But it also got to the point where my daughter thinks I can make things just like that. Um, so I started using my sewing machine again. I'm not very good at using it. I haven't used it a lot. She was like, can you make my dolly a quilt and a pillow for her bed in the doll's house? I said, yeah. She's like, okay, get it done then. <laughs> like, she's like, yeah, you can do it now, mummy. You can do it right now. <laughs> like, Kid, I am not that good. <laughs> you have far too much faith in my abilities. So yeah, it's biting me in the butt. She expects things to be made straight away. <laughs> make me all the things. Yes. Yes, definitely. And the outcome is also he never made them once. That's true. And I find that like I'll make something for them. Like half of the Pokemon that I've made, I've made for my stepdaughter already. But I was like, I love them so much, I have to make them for myself again. So all we, all I've done is wrap that chunky yarn around the middle, and that's going to be the stuffing because it's a lot easier than trying to stuff stuff in it. I thought it was a really cool idea. Make me all the things. And that is literally that's exactly it. That is exactly it. I don't mind. Because it means that I can constantly be making things without just filling the house with crap. Like, <laughs> at least they're getting loved. You know. So, I don't mind. Keeps me busy. I can totally imagine your kid going full boss mode snapping her fingers. Oh, she does. Oh, she does. <laughs> it is non-stop. Mum, can you can you start now? Mum, can you get Mum just just stop what you're doing and go make it, please. Mum, please, I need it right now. Mum, just go and do it. Mum, you can do it really quick. It's not that hard. Just go and do it. I'm like, oh I need to teach her how to crochet. She can do it herself. She's only five. <laughs> she can do a really good chain though. She made some. Um, she sat with me on stream in the Easter holidays. Obviously, she was off school and i showed her how to chain and she probably chains better than me it was her tension was so good i was like wow and i've threatened them before i was like when I st if i start selling these things i said you're gonna have to stop we're gonna have to get a production line you're gonna have to help me <laughs> i'm not sewing all these ends in I'm like, no. start them early it's good to start them young yeah exactly it's funny because the teachers at school, one of the first things in her first report they commented on was how creative she is. And I was like, she has no choice <laughs> because my house is full of yarn and sewing machines and material and all kinds of stuff like that. Painting and Play-Doh and clay and beads. Like, the poor kid doesn't have a choice. <laughs> well, she does. <laughs> but I think she uh, she's caught the bug from me. She has no choice. She is surrounded by supplies. Exactly. Her bed is just yarn. <laughs> Balls of yarn. <laughs> there, look. See? It's gone from that to a donut. It's magic. Clay. Yeah, hopefully soon some clay. No clay at the moment. But hopefully seeing some clay. Fingers crossed. There we go. A little, you can't really tell the colour. It's, it's, it's a really light green, like minty colour. It's coming up blue. Like baby blue on here, but it is not baby blue. It's minty. Minty green. <laughs> yeah, but she enjoys it, so I don't mind. As long as she's enjoying it. Right, let me see if I can find. Right, there's a needle. I need some thread. Come on. 
my um my pin cushion that I made it's a uh, you can probably hear some of the rice inside it's a cupcake do, 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 do. so we've just got this very basic cheap thread um, all my other stuff is with my sewing machine so we'll just use this yeah, we have pearlers and stuff. She likes doing uh, the hammer beads, the pearler stuff. Um, what else have we had? Cross stitch? She's not tried that. <laughs> yeah, there's loads of stuff. The 3D diamond painting. She really, really loved the 3D diamond painting we did on stream, which is like the big picture that's kind of made into a grid. And then you have these tiny little flat backed, like they're, they're super tiny, like the size of, well, they're a bit bigger than these beads and um the the sheet isn't it's not paper it's like this material that's sticky and then you stick all the little gems on where they should go and it makes the picture she really loved doing that it's cute you should sell those thank you i might do i'm um i'm planning on setting up an etsy shop i was going to do it over the weekend but like i say we had a kid's birthday party and other stuff going on so unfortunately i didn't have time but um yeah hopefully soon i'll get the etsy shop set up and then but yeah, I like that guy. I want to get some proper beads though. Like I say, I put rice in him. Um, so <laughs> some proper like um, weighted beads might be a better idea. Let's see if we can get some beads on this little donut guy. I just... Hmm. I don't know if this needle's too thick. No, it's not. Hallelujah. Let me do this. I'll leave a long tail so I can sew that bit of thread in. Do it. That could be your thing. Yes. They need like eyebrows and mustaches. <laughs> That's definitely a thing. But thank you. Thank you for your lovely compliment. Appreciate it. Right, let's add some beads to this guy. See how this goes. I want to kind of tie them in place so that they don't move. There we go. That's got that one. If I go in between the yarn as well, it'll help. I couldn't find any white thread, so I'm using grey, but you still can't see it, which is really nice. I've been trying to come up with a name for my Etsy shop, that's the only problem. Because I don't particularly want it to be called after like my name on here. Like I don't want to call the shop Sanforia. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> I just don't. I'd like it to be something different. We're hard to do. So, yeah, I've been trying to come up with a name. My mum has been coming up with some terrible suggestions. No offence, mum. I don't think you're watching. But, yeah. Yeah, I could get her to come up with, have a think of what she wants. We're thinking of putting her name in it, but I've seen quite a few with her name, so I'm like, hmm. Want something? I just want something completely different. I don't know if I want any great ones. Come back. Mash up of her name and yours, maybe jumble them off a bit. I could. That's a good idea. 
It's one of those things, see this happens whenever I, it sounds stupid, but whenever I play like a game where you have to name a character, <laughs> I spend most of my time sitting trying to think of a name. Hard. And I'm sure I can always change it, but you know what I mean? Yes! <laughs> I'm glad you understand. I spent hours thinking of names. Oh my god, I have links to like elf name generators and fantasy name generators and all sorts. The amount of times it sounds so stupid. But um on like World of Warcraft I'll make a character and then I'll think of a name and think, yeah, that's really cool, and then I'll go back to play on it and I'm like, I hate that name. And because it's only like a fresh character, I just delete it and make a new one. <laughs> I don't need to pay for a name change because it's like I haven't actually done anything on the character, but like, no, I can't deal with this. I need to change it. <laughs> My boyfriend thinks I'm crazy. It's the hardest part when it's an MMO with people taking up all of the good ones. Exactly. Exactly. And I was playing one the other day where you needed like a first and last name. I was like, what? Don't do this to me. It's so hard. And I have like a couple of generic ones, not generic ones, but I have a couple that are kind of like my go-to. Sometimes you just want something different. I'm just like, ooh, what do I choose? You know what, we will add to it. Do we have some grey? I, think, I don't think the grey would work. Now I'm going to have to buy more tiny beads. <laughs> the white ones will work. We don't use any of those yet. Not that I'm complaining about tiny beads. I'm just glad I can use them for something. This is this is very um, relaxing and cathartic. Is that the word? That might be the word I'm looking for. Fantasy and first and last name. Exactly. Exactly. You know the struggle. Drives me crazy. And I'm big into elves, so I always want like an elvish name. What kind of elvish name could I have? Before I know it, I've just spent like three hours looking up names. <laughs> Not actually played anything. And I play multiple MMOs, so I have... I, play, I played Neverwinter for a while, I've played Guild Wars 2, I've played World of Warcraft, um... What else did we play? I played another one. I can't remember the name of it. Um, so yeah, and obviously like you make a name on one and I think, oh, I'll use that on the other one. Probably been taken. This may end up being my favorite donut so far. bead come back to me could attach a tasty pin to the back of the donut and make a brooch Ooh, that is a cool idea make like little pins out of them it would be a fashion statement to a plain shirt it would especially like this one with the beads i really like this with the little beads it looks like proper little sprinkles that's such a good idea you guys have the best ideas Thank you so much for sharing them with me. A keychain too. Yes, we're definitely making keychains. Um, like I say, I've got a delivery coming either tomorrow or Wednesday of keychains and magnets. So, hopefully they do come up this week when they're meant to. And that'll be a lot of fun. Just so relaxing. Right, up there you. 
Crafting is always so soothing, most definitely. It really helps with my anxiety a lot. Although, hence why I've made so many friggin' bows. <laughs> because my anxiety's been pretty bad. So, like, okay, you're gonna make a thousand bows. I mean, it helped me calm, calm me down, it kept my mind off everything. But I get into that state where I can't sit still and I have to do something constantly um saying this the other day that i was i regularly end up with like tv on one screen game on the other and crocheting at the same time because i can't sit still and then i'll crash and i don't make anything it sucks I always give them out for birthday parties Ooh. i was thinking that when i was making them actually that the um it might be cool as like a an end of year gift or something for the kids. Uh, my daughter's birthday was in, in January, but definitely for something else. Or I could advertise them as, you know, they could be party favours. That would be cool. This is why I've said to my kids, when you see me making things like these bows or these donuts and I turn these keys on or whatever, grab whatever you want before the... Uh, before I put them up on Etsy, because once they're up on Etsy, you can't go stealing them. <laughs> they just laugh at me. I'm just glad they, they like them, they enjoy them. Just glad anybody likes them, really. It's one of the, one of the anxieties that you definitely have. Is anybody actually going to like what I've made? Is this any good at all? It's hard. I could try crocheting party hats, oh my goodness. Have to do that for like some stream anniversary thing. Make a party hat. There's a little tiny thing in this thread that has knotted itself. Which is meant that tying it is proving to be difficult. As long as it's secure. Oh, bugger. <laughs> I need to use the, uh, I need to get the better thread down. This is like the cheap ass thread. <laughs> I need the better thread. I might take some off the phone. Thank you. My kids end up being my testers. So again, for like the hair bows and the key rings and stuff. Before I even thought about selling them. Um, like, right, you've got to take them to school, you've got to wear them, you've got to do this, you're all my testers. And now they just, they see it and they think that's for them, and they just take everything. <laughs> I don't mind. Thank you very much. No, it's, it's, it's a very lovely thing to say, it's nice to hear, it definitely is. Especially when you're having like, a, I'm not having a, a down day today, but sometimes you do and... I try to let people know that, you know what, you're doing a great job. That's lovely to hear that, so thank you very much. I see you've got all of Ames's, um, my sub to Ames ran out. I was gifted a sub. I need to go and resub to her at some point. I love Ames's emotes. She's so talented. I love her. Imagine if someone wanted to order two dozen mini donuts from you. <laughs> right? Well, this is what I was thinking, like, I, I've got another little... This is the box that I decorated myself, because I just wanted a fluffy box. I thought it'd be cool. Um, but I have another one, and I was like, you could sell them in, like, a little a thing of eight. A little box of donuts. Because eight, I mean, this one is one of the tinier ones, but they fit perfectly in there. Make a Krispy Kreme box, yes! And it has, like, like I say... This was made for something else. This has had sweets in it. <laughs> I just wanted to make a pom pom lid, um, but I could, I could. It comes plain. I have another one down there. 
could put them in a little box like that. That'd be so cute. Oh my god, though. Thank you so much, Lady Clays, for the bead suggestion. It looks just like sprinkles. It is so cute. Even if I do say so myself. <laughs> I love the sprinkles. The pop up box is adorable. <laughs> yeah, it feels so. I just like it for the texture. It feels so soft. I didn't know whether to um, like. I was gonna put more pom poms around the edge because, as you can see at the moment, I've just done the top. Um, yeah, I was like, hmm. What else? What do I do with the sides? But I do have another one. Uh, let me see if I can find it. It fell off its shelf this morning. Crinkle, crinkle. The beads make a 100% upgrade to the donuts. They do, it does. It looks so cool. Thank you so much for the suggestion. It's such a good idea. Now I need more beads. <laughs> My boyfriend's gonna be like, oh. like, right, fire up eBay. But yeah, these are the little boxes. Um, yeah. This one looks like it's some of the glue's got away, but yeah, just little little wooden boxes like that. Put something on the top, like a little donut sticker, or make it look like a cool little box. That would be very cool. Right, let me make another. What colour shall I do? I think we'll do we'll do another pinky purple one, pink one. So someone else used beads as eyes. Yeah, I've looked at doing those. I've looked at those. I like to I use safety eyes on most of my things and then the odd one I'll just crochet the eyes on, especially if it's for the kids. My kids okay, because obviously I'm there when she's using it, so I don't mind too much. But I get worried that they're gonna like you know, if I gave it to a baby, they'd, they'd chew on the eyes and whatever. I wouldn't want that. Poor babies. Uh, you could crochet a lace edging. You could glue to the border. Ooh, I could. That would be cool. That would be cool. Make a chocolate donut. Oh, we could. I've made the normal kind of these bases, but obviously I do have this kind of darker chocolatey colour. We could definitely make a donut with once we've done these ones. I was thinking about that earlier, donut ones and all different kinds, strawberry ones. Just makes me want to eat donuts. Uh, the beads are cheap on eBay or Amazon unless you find them on sale as a kit in a store. Ah, I'm not, like I say, I'm really, I don't remember where we got them from. These bigger ones are from The Works, um, which is like a, it sells books and stuff if you're not in the UK, it sells books and craft things as well. Um, but there from there, I have no idea what kit those tiny beads came in. I don't remember, but yeah, I need to find out. I tend to sew the eyes on with bulky black yarn because safety eyes are hard to get when you want them the right size. You've got to get all the sizes. Yeah, that's the problem that I've got at the moment is I've got two packs of safety eyes because um, the first pack has all different kinds of sizes, but at the time I was making kind of very similar sized amigurumis so they all used the same size eyes so I've ended up with like loads of huge ones left loads of tiny ones but all the kind of middle size ones I've got none <laughs> so it's a bit of a pain but yeah I do tend to um I do like to try and sew them although I was looking at felting them I saw somebody was doing um I've seen quite a few patterns where they've used where they've like felted on the eyes like using the little felty tool and a bit of felt and they look really cool um i tried it with so i made mew he's in a box because he's going to a friend he needs a bit of finishing um but i made a mew and i just using a normal needle i kind of felted on his um his bow tie just using a needle he's got it this is the one with the top hat look he has a little we made him a tiny top hat <laughs> and a flower um 
And yeah. So, um, yeah, his bow tie is felted on his moustaches. But um, yeah, it was something that I wanted to look at doing. Yeah, I'm not sure. That's the kind of things that I want to look at when I get to it is, you know, can they wash it? Is it just going to be a have to be a thing that it's like, well, I'll only use it on the things that are kind of not aimed at children or I say on it, you know, not for anyone under a certain age. Um, and have, you know, washing and care instructions or whatever. But yeah, it's something that I want to look at. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But I like to test all that stuff myself. So like all my blankets, um, I've I've made ones with like loads of different types of yarn and then I'll I'll wash it and see how, how they work and I've not actually washed any of these. Um so things like uh what did I the scarves that I've made. I've knitted loads of scarves and like obviously the ones that my daughter wears and tests, they all get washed so I can see how they'll hold up and stuff like that. So yeah, it's just a it's why I think to start with things like this for key rings and stuff is, is definitely gonna be the way that I go. When hobbies become businesses, small issues can become a huge problem. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Most definitely. It's very exciting, but it can be quite um scary. I mean, especially when you've you've already got anxiety anyway. It doesn't help. <laughs> And it's one of the reasons like um i haven't done it before now because i've been crocheting i've been knitting since i was about eight and i'm 26 now and i've been crocheting for six years and people i've been told before like you should sell them blah 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 blah, blah. but i just get so anxious that like it's gonna fall apart or you know something's gonna happen that i'm just like no i'll just i'll just give it to family because i know they'll just tell me <laughs> and it'll be fine if something goes wrong <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I just need to have a bit more faith in myself and what I do, really. Um, but yeah, that's why it took a long time because I like to make sure that I've done all the research. I know everything that I need to know. Um, you know, in both the crocheting side of it and the businessy side of it, like taxes and all that kind of shenanigans. Because you never know. You never know. I get that all that time and I get you. You get that all the time too? Oh thank god. I thought I was going crazy because I have a friend at school that sells her sewn stuff. She makes, she's made a few ribbon hair bows and she like makes, she made stockings at Christmas and Santa sacks and she was just like, yeah, I'm going to sell them, blah, blah. I'm like, that, this unicorn was meant to be for one of my daughter's friends. Um, but I'm like, oh, but, and I was happy with it because like the eye and stuff is sewn on. It's not, um, gonna be able to come off but I'm like and she's five she's not little well, they're still little but they're not babies but I'm still like oh do I give it to her do I not do I give it to her do I not and I have a backup present just in case I don't because I'm like mm. Mm. yes I'm 26 are we the same age that's cool that's very cool too yeah. Um, yeah. I know I feel like I've been in my 20s forever I was talking to my boyfriend about this the other night because he's 32 and um, I said I feel like I've been in my 20s forever but that's just because a lot happened in my 20s I think it just feels like I've been here forever make them sound so simple when it's not because you never know if it's good enough yeah exactly I mean thankfully until I make like so much money i don't have to pay tax at all so so it's not really something i have to worry about for now because there's no way i'm going to be making enough to, to pay tax um but i want to know 
you know in case that does get to that point or you know whatever um, it's very exciting though very exciting right can you go down there Thankfully I have a family friend who has a, she has a shop. She doesn't sell pretty things, but she has a, like an independent, her own little shop. Um, so she knows a lot about it, so I can go and ask her about a lot of stuff. Um, she has a fancy dress shop, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it is amazing yeah that's exactly exactly lady plays especially if you know you're gonna offer international like shipping as well it gets pretty crazy and then um i was trying to this is one of the things like i've not really looked too much on etsy um but i want to have a good look and this is why i'm i'm making sure that i take my time to do it so i know everything because i want to um you know if i can do like say you know i don't know how it works if you want to say you know if you buy three hair bows you only pay one postage and packaging price and i'm like do they does that automatically go through do i have to refund them the thingy i don't know how it works so i know very little about it so i definitely want to look through um yeah it is really good to have somebody to talk to it's really nice i have a couple of other friends that do kind of like um these other things where they sell stuff but they sell stuff for a company but they're classed as self-employed i believe so they have to kind of do the same thing so it's, it's really nice and i actually have another friend who sells i have quite a few friends now thankfully that sell their crochet stuff too so and some of them are actually in england so they can help me <laughs> it's very it's very nice because there's so there's only like you can read up online all the time but until I, f I find it much more valuable to have somebody that's actually done it like some of them have been doing it for a few years now so they can really tell me what it's like how to do it how to do whatever you know valuable experience just makes up for friends and family that's what i've been doing um but it's getting to the point now where um there's no more room in my house really as well for stuff like i try and give a lot of it away but my family lives quite far away now um and yeah it'd be it would be lovely to be able to make some money from it even if it's just like i'm only planning on being able to kind of cover the cost of the materials you know that if i can do that then i'd be more than happy it keeps me going <laughs> Okay, I'm so happy right now. I have been struggling to get my printer synced for hours and was just able to print out two patterns after removing the app, downloading app, syncing, starting lamp top. My printer works! Yay! Thank goodness. I was going to get my printer out the other day because, um, but mine was from when I was at uni, so it's like, it's old and it doesn't want to work. It probably needs new ink because the ink's dried up. Because I've seen these, like, um, somebody had these like printable wrap labels they actually made some it's the person that made this pattern a crafty concept um she does wrap labels and she gave she sent them out to people that are like on her email list or whatever for free and they're donut ones and i was like oh my god they'd be perfect for a variety of things um but obviously i need a printer to print them off I, i'm gonna end up going to the local library and doing it there but it'd be so much easier to just do them at home as and when I needed them. Yeah. I need to get mine sorted. Well done. I'm so glad you got it done. I know how frustrating printers can be. I live in the Evertropics, so my family don't really need crochet knit stuff. So I don't have as many opportunities to make stuff. Yeah, I mean, at least here, it's quite cold a lot of the time. <laughs> so um, there's always opportunities for blankets and scarves and hats, which is nice. Um, I made like my niece, my niece and nephew. I made both of them a couple of blankets and hats and scarves and all kinds of different things. So that's nice. Right. Let's go 
this. Welcome back, Lilac. Welcome back, my love. Yeah, I'm in the UK. Yeah, I'm visiting London at the end of May. Ooh. Um, pizza. Oh, what kind of pizza are you having? I'm trying to be good. I'm having, um, I'm going to have a jacket potato and beans for dinner. I'm trying to be a good girl. That's something good. Um, what to pack? What, like, clothes-wise? Um, it was really sunny like a week ago here and then now it's gone really cold again so by the end of may i would probably say it's gonna be cold again you might get a few sunny days it's very it's weird the weather can be like it was literally like 27 degrees last week and then we were told that by the weekend they thought it was gonna snow <laughs> like okay I mean, we've just all been sat sunbathing and then in two days it's going to snow. Like, it's it's pretty crazy. I would definitely say a Rain Mac, just in case. Layers. That's always, that is one thing that I will always say when you come into the UK. Bring lots of things that you can layer. So then, because the weather can change in an instant and it can be, you could come and have like a heat wave week or you could come and it could rain all week. So I always, even with the kids now, whenever we go anywhere, it's always layers. So then if you get too hot, you can take stuff off. If it gets too cold, you can just, you know, keep adding layers on. Layers. I had to make Chef one as a... As a chef, he's fussy. <laughs> had to run to the shops and buy roast and beef. Capsicum. What's capsicum? Mushrooms, just for him. Um, you got some bad news tonight? No. What bad news did you get? I'm going to say this, Knox, and then you'll get here and it'll be like glorious sunshine. But, um, yeah, definitely layers. Just in case. Because then if it gets hot, you can always take them off. And a rain mat, at least. At least. That's exciting, though. I've not been to London many times. Only a couple of times. I live, like, right up north, so... It's normally hotter in London, down south, than it is where I am. Um. Oh, they're bell peppers. Oh, okay. What was your bad news, my love? Gonna bring the sun with you. Yes, it's normally sunnier in London. That's why I suggest a rain mat rather than a coat. Take, like, jackets, and then you can always put them under a rain mat, maybe. Um, yeah, it's always sunnier down there. And it is up north and i live up north so it's always wet and windy here my auntie passed away last night oh lilac i'm so sorry your dad's elder sister oh bad news comes in flocks always yeah i'm sorry to hear that lilac send you lots of love and hugs my love All the love in the world. You know where I am if you need me for anything. I send you my hugs. There you go. All the love, my love. I'm sorry. At least she's in a pain free place right now. It was cancer and it was really tough. Oh. I'm sorry, honey. But yeah, at least she's, at least she's not suffering now. She'll be up there having a great time, pain free.
like your face. Well, maybe not just your face. She was a funny lady. Aww. Taught me what craft means. Oh, it's fabulous. It's good that you have such lovely memories. Was she crafty too, then, if she taught you what craft means? so much that's so funny <laughs> no walking furries <laughs> oh, that's so funny She sounds like she was hilarious. <laughs> no walking furries. <laughs> I'm gonna have to use that now whenever I try and not swear in front of the kids. <laughs> She was, she was one of those ladies that probably drank too much but didn't take crap from anyone. She sounds amazing, Lilac. She does sound amazing. And it sounds like you have some really lovely memories of her. Sounds like my kind of lady. <laughs> Drinking too much and didn't take no crap. <laughs> Sorry, I know you can't see what I'm doing very well here. Give me pink. Nope, you're not pink. I feel like one of those grabber claws. Can I grab them? Pizza done. Pizza. Sounds so good right now. Oh no, I'm not going to have jacket potato. That's what, I'm going to have couscous, aren't I, with chicken and mushrooms. Oh, wait. Ooh, silly thread. Telling you what, the extra effort for, to put these beads on is so, so worth it. I love it. And they're the perfect size. I can't believe that I actually had, had them. Oh, 
So what kind of things do you make, Knox? What kind of things do you like to make? I haven't made, I'm making a blanket at the moment, a, a, like a granny striped blanket. Um, it's one of the things that I like, mainly I like to make little things like little amigurumis, but I like to have a big project, like a blanket on the go so that in between little projects, if I just want to sit in front of the telly and kind of do something mindless where I don't have to think because it's just the same stitch. That's why I like having a little thing like a, a big thing, sorry, like a blanket or something. Fills that for me, it's just lovely. Welcome back, how's the pizza? Make random stuff, I'm currently trying to knit ankle socks. <gasps> Ooh, with elastic yarn. What's that like? I've never made socks before, never ever. And um, I'm doing a bit more knitting. I've been making, knitting some scarves. Um, I've knitted a blanket, but I'm really intrigued. I wanted to make some hats and, and socks. So cool. The pizza's so good. I feel like Homer Simpson with these donuts. That's not the noise he makes, but I can't make the noise that he makes. It's like a four ply yarn with three ply being black and white thread and one being elastic. Ah, That's so clever. I've seen like elastic thread. I think I've seen elastic. Is that just elastic? I feel like I've seen elasticy kind of thread for something. Um, maybe it was just elastic and I'm just really thin elastic and I'm being a twit. Um, but that sounds really cool. I like that. Elastic thread and regular elastic, yeah. <laughs> I thought I wasn't just going insane. I thought there was elastic thread. The rest of my feet are too warm. <laughs> yes, Snow. Hi, Snow. How are you doing? Sorry, I didn't say hi. I saw your message. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to say hi. I'm sorry, Snow. You like this song, Lilac? It's in one of um, Stevie Cat's playlist. Hot feet knocks. <laughs> Hot feet, cold ankles. <laughs> How you doing, Snow? I hope you're doing good. Ooh. Come back, Donut, come back. <laughs> Too hot to handle. <laughs> you're okay, good. Good, good, good. Only a couple of probably oh maybe this is the yeah this is the last bead. Hey hey. Gotta cover them up lest they'll burn the earth beneath them. Oh God. <laughs> Instead of setting fire to things with your hands, it's your feet. Which playlist? Um, let me have a look. See, no, is it? I think it's. Or is it? Is it? Hmm. Which ones have I got? Game songs, happy go lucky, chill out vibes, and then I've got one that's just no copyright sounds, and I think that's this one. But I'm not sure. I think it's off the Devi Cat one. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a playlist. I, I haven't put any playlists together, I don't think. The only one I've put together is the singing one, right? The one to, that I, with like actual songs I can sing along to. Copyrighted songs. Oh, 
I'm not sure. Hmm. I may have to. I don't know. I can't like send you them. I don't think. Because it's like a text file, isn't it? I'm not sure how that would work. Because I'd send you the text file if that helps. I don't know if you can plug that into your playlist thing and it will still play the songs, though. I'm not sure how it works. Because it just pulls them from YouTube. might have to get a symbol. Yes. Yeah, I'll send you them, hon. I can send you them. Most definitely. There we go. Our second one with beads. This is such a good idea. I can't believe I actually had the beads to do it. But my goodness, do they look cool with beads. There's the, there's the next one. I used some grey on this one. This one we didn't. I used some grey and I got rid of the blue. I really like them with the beads on. It's definitely worth the extra effort, I think. They look so sprinkly. Look, our little our little box of a little box of eight donuts is, is full. I can't wait to get the magnets tomorrow and try them out. I can't wait. What am I using for the middle? What do you mean? The middle? Where's my darker? Go get some darker brown. Let's make a let's make a chocolate. Chocolate donut, chocolate sprinkly. I have to go upstairs for the dark brown now. Right, I'll be back in two seconds. I've got to go and get the yarn. Pattern says chunky. Oh, yeah. So I've got this. This is just some old, like chunkier yarn that I have lying around that I won't use for anything. I've had this like three years now, maybe even longer, and I never used it. So it's not particularly. It is chunky-ish. Um, let me compare it to this one. So it's a little bit chunkier. I think on the label it was labeled as chunky but it's not like super chunky so i just wrap around this and um she says like 10 to 11 wraps so i do them quite loose and then probably do a few more than that make sure it's stuffed so we've got two browns i've got this one or the darker one which one should we do this is the the bottom color we'll do a chocolatey donut I think the darker one, personally. I'm gonna have to make some more of these itsy bitsy tiny ones as well. They're like, they don't look too much smaller, but they are quite significant. Amelia, thank you for the host. Hello. I think the darker one, I think we'll do the darker one. It's just easier to stuff them by wrapping the yarn around, which I think is a really cool idea. Um, than trying to like, I did a bigger one. I made a key ring out of like, it's like that big, the other one my daughter has that's a key ring. 
and um, that one I had to stuff as I was sewing it together with yarn, uh, with stuffing, and that was quite difficult. And these are even tinier, so it's so much easier to just find some yarn to wrap around as the stuffing rather than trying to shove things in. But what I did do on a few is because I have so many yarn scraps, I wrapped this yarn around a couple of times. Creative happiness, thank you for the auto press. Um, I wrapped it around a few times and then while I was sewing, hi Zia, I like, as I folded it over and was sewing it, I also stuck some of these scraps in to kind of like, um, where I'd not put a lot of yarn around it. I kind of like filled it out with some of the scraps as well. So yeah. All these donuts and cookies have been crocheted. When you, will you be crocheting a bakery shop? Soon, that's the next project. I actually want to crochet a sink for someone. So we could do the rest of the bakery too. <laughs> How are you doing, Zia? Good morning. Hello. I know, we've got a giant cupcake with a face. Tiny donuts. I want to make some biscuits. That's the other thing. I saw somebody had made um, donut like pattern weights. They were made out of clay, I think. Not this, because obviously this isn't heavy enough. But yeah, they made donut pattern weights and then they made um, like a selection of biscuits. So they had like a jammy dodger, a custard cream, a bourbon, a pink wafer. I was like, oh, they're amazing. So I could, I've seen patterns for them, um, crochet patterns for them. So we could make those and have like a biscuit collection of magnets. <laughs> Delicious. Just delicious. I wish I still had my old cork board and my old um, like white board that was magnetic so I could stick all these things on. I'm gonna have to get one. Um, they sell them in the local shop for like a couple of pounds. So I'm gonna have to get one just to be able to kind of display them somewhere without um, like them just taking over everything and me just having them all in a box sticking together. I think it would look better if I had a board to kind of put them on because I've also been looking at I, I need to look sorry I was thinking last night about how I'm going to package them so that's something I need to look at tiny donuts with eyebrows <laughs> it sounds evil it is it's a con it's a, the, the donuts are taking over the world they've had enough of cookies so they're playing a revolt Two, three, four. Need to get some sleep. Have a great stream. Glad I got to see you at the first week. Thank you so much, Lady Clays. I hope you have a fantastic sleep. Thank you very much for the idea of using the beads. I wouldn't have even thought to have used them, and I'm really glad that we found them. No, I'm glad you have enjoyed yourself. Thank you very much for the suggestion. Have a lovely sleep. Zix. Ziz, zigs, ziz. I can't even say that. Ziz. <laughs> ziz. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So tomorrow we're gonna to do a split stream. So I'm gonna do maybe an hour of crochet first, and then after that, we're gonna do an hour of also of shopkeep two, which I'm excited to play. Um, it's meant to be, it was meant to come out into early release on the 26th, but they had some issues with multiplayer, so they've pushed it back. So the release date is now the 3rd of May for early release. However, um, they said that you know the the original embargo stands. You can still stream it and make videos on it now. So I figured we would stream it. It looks pretty cool. Go and set up a shop. See if any heroes want to buy anything from us. So we'll do that tomorrow. We need to. Oh, we'll have to make a bakery. We'll sell donuts to all the heroes. Get your dragon fighting donuts here. No worries, Lilac. No worries, my love. Oh, I also saw the new thing about, um, there's been a thing on Twitch for a while where you could do like a, so that your stream had less latency between like what happens and then what, when chats see it. Um, 
but I never used it because people with like I think people with lowerish internet would then end up getting a buffered stream but I've seen more and more people using it recently I don't know whether Twitch has like redone it or whatever but I saw some people um, quite a few people have been using it recently which is pretty cool and people were having like someone was streaming the other day and they only had some some people in chat were getting like just a one to two second delay rather than like a good 15 seconds which it can be sometimes so I thought that was really really interesting might be something to look at One, two. although latency is never really been a big like the the stream delay has never really been a big issue so it's not something I'm overly concerned with you know what is concerning me though I actually did a new joke of the day today and I haven't even mentioned it or tried it <laughs> and I actually did it see in a minute if it's gonna work doesn't want to work a dragon fighting donuts like hand grenades yes exactly it just explodes and jam goes all over the dragon and then he's stuck. He can't fly because of his wings. Bot's just having a little moment. What's the only thing that can... Okay, I can't... Ignore the spelling error there. Ignore the typo. There you go. I fixed it. What's the only thing that can cure a sick donut? An antidote. <laughs> Dough. Donut. An antidote. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so lame. <laughs> but I did it. It's a different joke. And it's about donuts. Ha. Huh. Double win for me. An antidote. <laughs> It's like the other donut one we had the other week. Um, why did the donut go to the dentist? To get a filling. <laughs> I love a cheesy pun. <laughs> so yeah, we have we have. If you're new to the stream, we have joke of the day here. Although the last couple of weeks it's been like joke of the month because I keep forgetting to change it, but I try to. Where just to kind of hopefully bring people a little bit of laughter in a morning. Well, it's morning for me. Um, yeah, we have we we just enjoy a cheesy pun together. Usually several. <laughs> <laughs> Cheesier the better. I say. Is this is this the brown that I used to make this cupcake? I thought it was the other one. Oh, it's not it's not the other one either i have so many different browns i don't know where they were while though it's fantastic fantastical what are we going to do with this donut do we do um oh i have white beads so we could just do white sprinkles that might look quite cool although we could do all different we could do all the colors I'm trying to think of what would show up well on brown um because you could do like a, a crochet drizzle of white icing like across it but i'm thinking i i like the beads so i'm thinking beads again do we just do white and white ones or just gray ones or all the different colors all the colors work white and pink Ooh, yeah we could do just white and pink this time. I think that would look cool. Alright, so we've got the original row, that row, one, two. Okay. I think we've done. Hang on. Let me just double check here. These are all singles. Yes, they are. Fantastico. There we go. Nope. And then we need to flip him inside out. There we go. Tie these together just because I like it being nice and neat. Where's my needle so that I can thread the ends in? 
So my donut looks neater. Although the other time I did just wrap them round and add it to the stuffing. It doesn't really make any difference whatsoever at all. So it just means you don't have you don't have you have a bigger pile. If you sew them in and cut them off, you end up with a bigger pile of uh, ends. I think for the next ones I won't sew it, cut them off, I'll just wrap them round and they can just be part of it. Gotta go for now, gonna catch Avengers again with a friend. Very nice. Have a lovely day, Nuts. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with us. Hope you have a fantastic, fantastic day. Thank you so much for your lovely company this morning. Enjoy the Avengers. I've heard great things about that film. The, uh, that's the new one, isn't it? The Infinity one. I send you off with laughs and floofs and my creepy face. Bye, Nox. <laughs> right, there we go. Once I've done this donut, this will be the last one for today, and then I'm going to finish this stream. Get some lunch. Mm -mm -mm. What's everybody else having? I know I look got pizza. I'm going to make um, chicken wrapped in bacon, I think. It's going to take a little while to cook, but it's going to be worth it. Chicken wrapped in bacon, stuffed with cream cheese. I'm going to also roast some mushrooms and have some couscous <laughs> see i haven't done this very loose which is why i think i'm having to do so many wraps it's also not the thickest of yarn i just do load like that and then you can kind of shape it when you're sewing it together it off my finger see now now it looks like I've, I've done way too much whereas a second ago it looked like there wasn't enough it makes a big difference whether you wrap it tightly or loosely I find you end up wrapping a, a lot more round when you do it tight see look how much it looks like it's overstuffed it almost looks like a strawberry oreo right now but it'll go in and then you just whip stitch around the edge. Whip it. Whip it good. Do, 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 do. Hi Joseph, hello. How are you, good morning. Good evening, good afternoon. Whatever time it is, wherever you are. How are you, are you having a good day? We're making tiny donuts. Tiny calorie free donuts. Oops, how did I pull that off? Being too, what's the word? I can't think of the word. Exuberant, maybe. Come on. Yeah, it'll fit in just fine. I said whip it. Do, 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 do. Whip it good. Now, 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 now. Now, 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 now. Bow, 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 bow. Correct that whip. That song's stuck in my head now. Stuck on a pearl. Break your mama's back. Come here. I can't see what I'm doing. 3.31am and I just got done watching a show called Charmed on Netflix. Very nice. It's Charmed on Netflix? I remember watching it on the telly. If it's the same programme that I'm thinking of. It was definitely called Charmed, I think. That sounds like fun. I'm waiting for another episode of Shadowhunters. I like it when programmes bring out a load of episodes so I can sit and binge them hate having to wait for new episodes to come out and um, Shadowhunters is a really cool book that I've read and um, I've only read the first one although I've got all like six of them and uh, they brought out a movie which didn't do very well I don't think and then the somewhere else brought out a series and that only had like one yeah had like one series of it 
and then Netflix has done their own version and it seems to be doing much better because they're on series Are they on series two or three I think they're on series three but I've got to wait every week every Wednesday it comes out, a new one comes out I'm like Ugh. Don't make me wait. Yes, the power of three. Yeah, I remember watching it. I used to watch it on the telly quite a lot. I really like, really like Charmed. It's hard again watching them on telly though because they're quite old. It was the channel that I was watching them was kind of like playing them as reruns, so you get one a day, and chances are, were you no, 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 you didn't get one a day. You got a couple a day, but the chances were it was probably one that you've seen before like they'd play three or four and at least one of them would be one that you've already seen which is fine that's not a bad ratio but I mean, it's a little bit annoying i might do the chicken thing for tea because i don't think i'm going to have enough time to get it defrosted it's half 11 already i have to defrost it before i cook it with the bacon although i could just do it without the cream cheese that wouldn't be the same. Yeah, maybe I'll do that for tea. I'll do that for tea rather than lunch. Right, so we're going to go with pink and white, I think. All of you guys need to go back. None of you were what I needed. Except you. There we go, there's a couple. Definitely need to get more of these tiny beads. Can't believe how perfect they are for this. Just the right size. Hi Goldie, how are you? <laughs> Why are you hungry? Want some donuts? This is our third and final donut. We made these today. With beads to make sprinkles. They're very cute. Our little donut box. <laughs> That's more donuts than I can handle. How are you doing, Goldie? Now, I've said this already, but taking the extra time to put these beads on is most definitely worth it and I'm enjoying working with them I haven't done any bead stuff for ages you're good good I'm glad to hear I am fantastico thank you doing fantastic getting hungry this is the last donut we're gonna do because I'm getting particularly hungry I mean not made any easier by the fact we're making donuts but yeah I'm feeling hungry and my plans for lunch uh, have changed. I can't make what I wanted to make because I don't think I'm going to have enough time. <laughs> pizza consumed. Ooh. Welcome back, my love. How was your pizza? I mean, maybe I could get it defrosted and just have a, a later lunch. I just don't want to get caught and not have had lunch by like three o'clock when I have to go and get, get the kiddo. It's not going to take three hours to cook some chicken though. I'd be quite concerned if it did. <laughs> Prue, Piper, Phoebe and Paige. Oh yeah. I haven't watched it in a long time. You had pizza for dinner too? Ooh. Just a chicken breast, Goldie. Just a chicken breast. It's not going to take me three hours. <laughs> a whole chicken might be a different story, but just a chicken breast. I want to wrap it in... I've got to defrost it because I want to wrap it in bacon and um, have it with some... and stuff it with cream cheese and have it with some mushrooms and couscous for my lunch. I just don't want it to take forever. If it takes three hours it'll be a, a little bit dry yeah probably a little bit burnt too. <laughs> i tend to like for lunch i tend to just try and get something quick 
because obviously I stream in the morning and then the afternoon is when I will go ahead and get like the jobs done in the house. So I tend to eat quick while I'm also like cleaning, doing the washing or whatever. Um, but that'll be okay because I can just kind of stick it in the oven and then leave it. Because hey, no one in my family, well my stepdaughter likes couscous but she kind of likes it on its own plane with just tuna weird so um nobody else in the house likes couscous so i'd rather have it for my dinner uh for my lunch so no one can moan oh i'm not eating couscous don't like couscous oh, lost a bead the first casualty the first sprinkle casualty netflix has charm so if you get the itch yeah i didn't realize i'll definitely have a look although i went through a stage of having nothing to watch and now i've got again like loads i'm trying to finish um I wish Supernatural was on Netflix. That's one that I wish was on there. Um, but I've... What am I watching at the moment? Um, the Shadowhunter thing. I've just... I've almost, almost, almost caught up with um, Once Upon a Time. And then I've also nearly finished um, Vampire Diaries. So once they're done, I'll definitely need something else to watch. It's in a sealed package, like a single serving. Best one quickest is to put it in a water bottle. Yeah, it's just like a pack of, it's just a single piece of frozen chicken. How good is Shadowhunters? Do you love it too? That makes me so happy. I read the book ages and ages and ages ago, the first one. And then I saw the movie. Um, and then, is it on net? Oh, that's not fair. I don't think we've got it on ours. I, I, I keep looking for it. Maybe I've just missed it. Um, yeah, I read the first Shadow. I read the first book um, a while ago, and then I watched the movie, and then I saw that there was there's a series that's got one series on Netflix, which was good. So I watched that, and then I watched. Then I bought the set, the rest of the books, because there's like six books, and they happen to have it where my stepdaughter's mum works in her the shop she works in. So she grabbed that for me. So I've got all those to read, and I really can't wait. Um, but yeah, and then I saw that Netflix had been doing its own series of Shadow Hunters. Um, so I started watching. Um, I started watching those. But like I was saying, it's just a. I hate having to wait, so I have to wait every Wednesday for it to come out. Just got caught up on Doc Martin on Amazon. Ooh, my mum loves that program. I remember watching it a few times with her. I like the guy that plays Doc Martin. What's his name? can't remember yeah I like him but I didn't realize oh well maybe I'll look on our Netflix I was annoyed because we'd not long got net like we got Netflix just as Disney took all their movies off it's like no kids end up sitting and watching a lot of like the chipmunks that was on there yes I do love Netflix Martin Clooms that's his name that's his name I like him he does make me laugh right we have finished which means that I'm gonna finish the stream as soon as I've tied these in just to give you a heads up I get something to eat. How long have we been live? Over two hours. Not bad. Took a little bit longer to make these just because um, we did the beads, which I know I've said it a bazillion times. You can tell me to shut up. But yes, I think it looks such a good idea. I think I spiked an interesting topic. Very, very. I love TV programs and books are my main thing. Books have always been like. Ever since I was little, I have so many friggin' books in my house. It drives my boyfriend mad. Um, but yeah, especially books that turn into TV shows. And I, I really like kind of supernaturally, you know, um, programs and stuff like that. Witches and vampires and anything like that. New Adam Sandler, Chris Rock is pretty good. Adam Sandler. What movie is that? I've not heard of 
I saw The Rock had brought out a new one called Rampage. The only reason that I know about that is because he put it on his Instagram. Apart from that, I haven't heard anything about it. Movies are one thing that I haven't watched a lot of. Um, apart from like a good few that I'll watch a couple of times. I don't really... It sounds silly because I have time to sit and watch like a TV show, but usually when I'm watching a TV show, I'm doing other things at the same time. With a movie, I like to really just sit down and watch it. Which I don't get time to do. Magic shows. <laughs> exactly. Anything with magic in it. Right. There is our chocolate sprinkle donut is. It looks better in... Hang on, let me see if I can put the autofocus on and it will actually do its job. Instead of focusing on something completely random. I have nothing here with a face on it, so it should be okay. Maybe. There it is. See, look, now it's focusing on the beads. No! No beads. <laughs> Stupid camera. Come on, focus on the donut. Donut. There we go. There it is. And then these are the ones that we've made today. Put my hand here to kind of hide. Now you can see this is more of a minty green. It was looking really blue earlier. Stop trying to focus on the cupcake. There we go. So then hopefully either tomorrow or Wednesday the magnets will come and the key rings so we can turn some of these into magnets and key rings. I'm so excited. Yeah. Yeah, thank you very much for coming and hanging out with me this morning, guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'm going to go ahead and make some lunch. I can't wait. We'll be live again tomorrow. We're probably going to, maybe if the, if the stuff comes today, which is very unlikely, but if it does or it comes early tomorrow, we'll add like the magnets and stuff on and test them out and stuff. If not, we'll probably, um, we'll either make some more donuts or we'll make an avocado because I've got an avocado key ring I want to make, which shouldn't take too long. Um, I love your face, Lilac. Just message me. I'll message you in a bit, hun. Well, I'll probably message you straight after this. Just, you know where I am if you need me, okay? I love your face. Um, yeah, so we'll do that tomorrow for the first hour, and then the second hour-ish we'll play, um, I'm not going to say, like, dead on the hour, but, you know. Round about the first hour we'll crochet, round about the second hour we will play Shopkeep 2, I think. That would be quite fun. We'll give that game a go, so I'll get that downloaded. Uh, yeah. It's called Week Off. It's about the week of a wedding between the daughter and son of Chris and Adam. Not IRL. Oh, okay. And Adam's trying to do everything on a budget and Chris is, super ri is a super rich heart surgeon and wants to help out, but Adam won't let him and everything keeps going wrong. Oh, it's on Netflix, is it? I might watch that this afternoon then. <laughs> that sounds like a good one this afternoon. I do like Adam Sandler. And Chris Rock, to be fair. I think you have filled my afternoon, so thank you very much. <laughs> but yeah, I need to get some more beads and stuff. Um... We'll either, we'll do, we'll crochet something in the morning and then in the second kind of half of the stream we will play Shopkeep 2. So if you fancy hanging around for that tomorrow, you're more than welcome to come and hang out. Unfortunately, multiplayer isn't working on it yet. It's going to be coming out on pre-release on the 3rd of May because they had some issues with multiplayer. So hopefully then we can maybe do some multiplayer of that. Otherwise, we could have done that um, tomorrow. But yes, that's what we'll do. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me. Put them there. Um, if you haven't, make sure you hit the follow button so you know when I go live. You can also join the Discord and all of the social medias. All the pictures of these will be going up on the Instagram. On the Instagram. You know, on the Instagram. On the Twitter. <laughs> but have a great day, guys. I love your faces and I will see you very soon. Tomorrow, probably. Maybe. Goodbye.
So no, I'm going to ban that word in the chat. Welly wangers, welly wangers, welly wangers, welly wangers, welly wangers. <laughs> Goodbye.